Hey there, welcome along. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what's required to model some money like this using SolidWorks. So as you can see, I didn't make it very simple. I didn't put it onto a flat uh, plane. I uh, put a little twist in the note. And we're also going to take some pretty high-res images of the note and put them on using decals in SolidWorks. So to begin, let's go to File, New, and we're going to open up a new part. And we're going to sketch a line on the top plane. And let's hit the space bar and Normal 2. And I'm going to draw from the origin a horizontal line. Now, uh, unfortunately, I didn't have one to hand, so I googled it. And the size of a 100 euro note is 147. So let's just extend it that way. And we'll close that. So that sketch just has a straight line in it. Let's now go to the Surfaces tab. If you don't happen to have that, right-click any of the other tabs and activate the Surfaces one by ticking it. But I do have it, so let's go to Surfaces, Extruded Surface. Click that line, and it needs to go up a value of 8 to 82 millimeters. And there you have the correct um, size, according to the internet, of a 100 euro note. So now to put the image on, let's go and stick on a decal. So to do that, we're going to go up to the Render Tools tab, Edit Decal, and then Browse down the bottom left. And we're going to browse until we find the image that we have. Now I've downloaded these from the internet, so let's just double click the image we're after. Then it, it'll give you a little preview over there in that preview window. Simply click the face you want to apply it to, and it should go on pretty neatly. Now, for whatever reason, if that doesn't go on squarely like that, if it's a little bit um, misaligned, you can go to Mapping and make sure you select Projection and either Selected Reference or uh, Current View is a good one as well. So, if you drag anywhere inside the frame of that image, you can see you can reposition it. Now, you can try your best to get it to the corner, but it won't snap on automatically. And I do notice that this image I have, the aspect ratio is a little bit off. And if you try and drag it to make it wider, you can see the aspect ratio is fixed. So you can get down here and deselect fixed aspect ratio, which means you can drag it and make it incredibly narrow or incredibly wide or, or, or whatever you like. But I want to snap that on precisely to the edges. So there's a great little command down here called Fit With To Selection. And that will make sure it snaps on to the edges of the face, both to the left and right, and fit height to selection. And that means that that image is going to lock perfectly onto that face and stretch to, to achieve that. Let's do the same thing for the back. So I'm going to go to Edit Decal. I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go to the same place and try and find that image I had a second ago. The back. Click the face. Now you see here the image comes in a little bit different. Now you can, of course, you can rotate that around. It's, it's backwards. It's upside down, rather. What you can also do is go to Mapping and select this uh, down at the bottom. Mirror horizontally. And it'll flip it that way. And now I also want to mirror vertically. And that's just a quick way to precisely rotate the note uh, into position. Again, let's deselect Fixed Aspect Ratio. And let's tick the two boxes to fit width to height. Or sorry, Fixed Selection uh, in terms of width and height. And there you have it. So if I press that green tick, we should be in business. Last thing I want to do is just give this a little flex to make it look more realistic. So let's go to Insert, Features, Flex. Let's select uh, Twisting. Let's click the material itself. And as you move to the red and green trim planes, they're very narrow, they're at either end, you will get this little curved icon. And as soon as you get that curved icon, click and hold and just give it a little drag. And if you press the green tick, it bends the note out of um, the plane. What you can do is apply that a second time. Insert, Features, Flex. Let's put on another uh, twisting one. Let's click the object again. But this time I'm going to change the axis. I'm going to pick this axis and drag it through 90 degrees. Or you can simply type in 90 degrees to one of the boxes down on the bottom left. And then when you have it, you can click the plane again and give it a twist, but this time it'll twist in a different direction. So you can please yourself there. Uh, the most realistic versions I got is when I didn't really twist it too much, but that's how you would um, apply a, a flex or a little twist to that note. 